my god what's going on here hey guys welcome 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 back to glasses kingdom this is your truly tr naya reacts representing as usual this is my second video of uh reaction to friends rhythm since my return to the studios right here in the united states i've been gone for a while but um you all have been patient um enough to wait for my return many of you have not seen my last reaction so if you're seeing this video but you haven't seen my last one please do go check it out i'm gonna put the link in the description and you can take a look at it anyway today i am very excited why because france rhythm is doing the first reggae um, version of a song that I will be reacting to. You know I'm from Jamaica, right? And you know I love me some reggae. You know that's you know that reggae is what I actually do. Um, not that I don't play other genres, uh, but my band is a reggae band. You know, so I am excited to see their approach to reggae music. So without further ado, let's dive right into it, shall we? And this one is called Lemon Tree. I actually haven't heard this one before. Never heard of it either. So really and truly, I should listen to the original version first and then see what they've done to it. Uh, so... Wow. Loving the harmonies. Wow. Sitting here in the boring room. It's just another rainy Sunday afternoon. I'm wasting my time. I got nothing to do. I'm hanging around. I'm waiting for you. But nothing ever happened. And I wonder. I wonder, wonder, I wonder how, wonder why 
not a lemon tree Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Over here, Ron Smith channel. Ron Smith. Click here, subscribe. <laughs> God bless. Wow, wow. And he, he's like, like that's so cute. Huh? Cute. Um, Chen's voice sounded a little bit different in this particular performance to me. I'm not sure if you heard it. She normally have this very warm voice, you know, and you know still very good um performance still very good singing still very good timbre but it's just it seems a little bit different from the voice that i am familiar uh or i am accustomed to however great performance we see char over there banging on the keyboards um so that's what you call whatever she was doing kang 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 she was banging right um so there's different um, ways to call it. Like for the guitar, they call it like skank. They call it also bang. They call it also um, strum. So I noticed something about um, her playing, which is a, some people refer to it as a mistake um, to, to, to do a up strum or upstroke rather um, on the guitar uh, when playing reggae. So there are genres out of Jamaica that we do a upstrum on, and one such is uh, what is it called again? Ska. Yes, there's a upstrum and ska. Kink, 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 kink. Right. Um, I should really demonstrate to you. Like, for instance, when you hear a song like My, My Girl Lollipop. My girl lollipop Now I go giddy up It's old and fire mm -mm -mm -mm. So you do a upstroke on ska music However, in reggae, we do a downstroke Because it's more accurate So yes, um, uh, there is more accuracy in a downstroke. An upstroke is not wrong. Some people will tell you that it is wrong. It's not wrong because as long as you can get um, these skank, st um, streck, strum, bang, whatever, if you can get it on the grid, it doesn't matter how you're doing it. If you can get it accurately in the timing, then it's okay, which what, which what she did, she got it um, okay. But uh, there is a different tone when you strum down as, to when, as opposed to when you strum up. Because if you're right, um, if you're right-handed, when you strum up, it have a sound like this. Because you strum from the first string up to the sixth, as opposed to if you don't stroke your you have that warm and more thick sound because you strum from the bass string down to the um the last or first string which is the treble uh but yeah away from that i am i don't call it wrong you know i just say you get a different timbre or tone depending on where you, how you strum your guitar also if you were going to play for a longer period a downstroke would be better for you um, in many ways. So she was doing the upstroke and uh, we see that more, we see more of that in the other sides of the world. You, you're, you hardly will go to Jamaica and see anybody playing reggae with an upstroke. You might find one or two person, but you're not going to find many. And the one and two person that you find doing a upstroke in reggae um, didn't know anything about reggae from Jamaica. Anyway, um, as for everything else, it was perfect. Great bass line and um, uh, 
duds on the drums there was doing pretty pretty fantastic i also want to say the surprise element of bringing rock and roll into the mix was also fantastic so you're there rocking and drinking your beer on the beach tropical island type of vibration kanking kanking and then And you're like what what excuse me where did that come from that was pretty much very 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 exciting to see and then they went back to reggae and they ended in reggae and this was really really a great fusion reggae rock and roll how amazing was that i'm looking forward to more i hope they will do a lot more reggae and of course if they do more reggae then I'm probably going to look forward and hope that one day we can collaborate and do some reggae music together. Thank you so much for recommending uh, this video, my friend. Um, for those who suggested that I reacted to it, I look forward to more and more and more and more. All right. Until next time, I am yours truly, TR Naya Reacts. <laughs>